Let's understand the abacus tool and its parts. We will also learn how to clear it before we begin attempting questions. This is a 17 rod standard Soroban abacus tool, 10.2 inches long by 2.2 inches wide. Let's understand the 7 parts of the abacus tool. These are the 7 parts. Frame, Beam, Pointers, Upper Deck, Lower Deck, Rods, and beads. The frame of abacus holds all other parts within it. The horizontal beam separates the abacus tool into upper and lower decks. Five white pointers. The pointers located on the beam serve as markers indicators of rods. The upper deck is the part above the beam. It has only one row of beads. The lower deck is the part below the beam. It contains four rows of beads. There are 17 rods on this abacus tool. Rods serve as place values and paths for the beads to move up or down. Beads create configurations or values by moving up or down on the rods. Place values on Soroban tool. The middlemost rod is taken as the place value once or units place. Moving leftwards, we have tens, hundreds and thousands rods. Let's understand how some values take their place on the abacus tool. Right now the tool displays a zero on it. Push one lower bead up with the right hand thumb and we get the value 1. Push one more lower bead up with the right hand thumb and we get 2. This is 3 on the abacus tool. This is 4. Now pull the upper bead down with the right hand middle finger and we get 5. The upper bead in the upper deck on units rod has a value of 5. Now push one lower bead up and we get the value 6. This is 7, 8, and 9. Let's look at the tens rod now. Push one lower bead up with the left hand thumb and we get the value 10. Similarly, this is 100. And this is 1000. Well, you figured it correctly. This three digit value is 555. And finally, the rods to the right side of one's rod are used for decimal places. Let me show you the actual abacus tool now. This is an actual Soroban abacus tool. Let me show you the parts once again. This is the frame of the abacus tool. This is the horizontal beam or bar with five white pointers on it. These are the 17 rods and these are the lower beads in the lower deck and upper beads in the upper deck. Before we begin calculations or before we begin putting a number on the abacus tool, we should have a zero value on it. And to have a zero value, we need to clear the abacus tool. 
So clearing the abacus tool means none of the beads should be touching the beam or bar then only we get a zero value. Let's see how to clear it. Hold the abacus tool from the four corners, lift it, tilt it towards yourself and place it back. As you can see all the lower beads have moved away from the beam. Now let's take care of the upper beads also. Bring your right hand thumb and index finger closer in a pinching motion leaving a very small gap between the two nail tips. Enough to fit over the beam. Now place it over the beam. Gently and swiftly glide it from right to left and left to right. As you can see all the upper beads have also moved away from the beam and we have a zero value on the tool. This is how clearing the abacus is done. Now we always start learning the abacus from the middlemost rod that is taken as the ones place. This rod indicated by this pointer is the ones place. Towards its left is the tens, hundreds, thousands and ten thousands and so on. So these are the place values. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands and so on. The abacus is clear now with a zero value. Let's operate the lower beads on the units or ones rod. We need to use our thumb and index finger for addition and subtraction of lower beads. Plus one, the answer is one because only one bead is touching the beam. One bead from the units rod or the ones rod is touching the beam. So the value on this abacus is one. I'm using my thumb again, plus one. Now the value on this tool is two. To subtract, I need to use my index finger. Minus one. The answer is one because only one bead is left touching the beam. Minus one again. The answer is zero because no bead is touching the beam. Plus one. The answer is one. Plus one. The answer is two. Plus one. The answer is three. Plus one. The answer is four. Minus with the index finger. Minus one. The answer is three because only three beads remain touching the beam. Minus one. The answer is two. Minus two. The answer is zero again. So I have used my thumb and index finger, right hand thumb and index finger for the lower beads. The upper bead, it needs to be operated using the middle finger of the right hand. And it carries a value of five. Plus five, the answer is five. Minus five, the answer is zero. As you can see, the upper bead has been operated using the middle finger only. Look again, plus five, the answer is five. Minus five, the answer is zero. Okay, so let's take the upper and lower beads together. Plus five, the answer is five. Plus one with the thumb. Now the answer is six. One bead from the upper deck and one bead from the lower deck. Five plus one, it is six. Plus one, the answer is seven. Plus one, the answer is eight. Plus one, the answer is nine. So nine is the maximum value on the ones place. Let's clear it again. Let's look at the tens rod now. We use the left hand on the tens rod. Plus 10. Now one bead is touching the beam. So the value is 10 because this is the tens rod. Plus 10, the answer is 20. Plus 10, the answer is 30. Plus 10, the answer is 40. And subtraction is done using the index finger of the left hand. Minus 10. The answer is 30 because 3 beads are touching the beam. Minus 10. The answer is 20 now. Minus 20. The answer is 0. Let's come to the hundreds rod now. One bead up from the lower deck and we get 100. Plus 100. This is 200. This is 300. This is 400 minus 400 and the upper bead on the 100 rod plus 500. So the answer is 500 now. Now one upper bead from the 10 rod, it makes 550 and the upper bead on the units rod 
plus 5. So the total value is 555 on this abacus tool. And the rods towards the right side of the unit's rod, they are taken as the decimal places. So if I push one bead up with my right hand, the answer is 555.1. Okay, now this is 555.12. Now the value is 555.124. Let's clear the abacus tool again. 